Ever wondered how to maximize your investment returns while minimizing risk? Well, you're not alone. This quandary has puzzled investors for centuries. The core concern is simple. How do we grow our wealth without placing it in undue peril? The answer, however, is not so straightforward. It's a complex dance of balancing potential gains against potential losses, a tightrope walk on the financial high wire. This is where investment returns and risk come into play. Investment returns are the gains or losses made from investing your money. Risk, on the other hand, is the possibility that your investment might not pan out as expected. Together, they form the fundamental building blocks of any investment strategy. Now what if I told you that economists have developed a strategy that could help you navigate this financial labyrinth? A strategy designed to help you maximize your returns while keeping the risk in check. That's right, we're talking about the modern portfolio theory. Stay tuned as we unravel the secrets behind the modern portfolio theory. So, what exactly is the modern portfolio theory? Well, it's akin to a magic recipe for investors, but this recipe doesn't involve exotic spices or secret sauces. Instead, it uses a blend of assets to whip up a portfolio that aims to deliver the highest possible return for a given level of risk. In essence, the modern portfolio theory, or MPT as it's often called, is a mathematical framework for assembling a portfolio of assets in such a way that the expected return is maximized for a given level of risk. It's all about balance. Imagine you're on a tightrope. On one end you have potential return and on the other end, you have risk. The goal is to walk the line in such a way that you don't tip over to one side. This balancing act is what MPT is all about. You see, it was developed by economist Harry Markowitz in the 1950s, and it challenges the traditional idea of investing in assets purely based on their potential return. Instead, it takes into consideration the overall risk involved and how the assets within the portfolio interact with each other. In fact, MPT goes a step further. It not only acknowledges the existence of risk, but it also quantifies it and uses it as a key ingredient in constructing a portfolio. This theory suggests that it's not enough to look at the expected risk and return of one particular stock. Instead, the risk and return of the entire portfolio should be considered. It's like creating a football team. You can't just pick players based on their individual skills. You have to consider how they'll work together as a team. The same principle applies to creating a portfolio. By understanding the modern portfolio theory, you can potentially transform your investing strategy. It provides a structured approach to investment and helps you make informed decisions based on quantifiable risk. So, the next time you're faced with an investment decision, remember the modern portfolio theory. It may just be the secret ingredient you need to spice up your portfolio. One of the key components of the modern portfolio theory is diversification. But why is it so important? Well, let's take a step back and imagine you're a farmer. If you only plant one type of crop and a disease hits that specific plant, you're left with nothing. But if you plant several types of crops, the disease might only affect one, leaving the others to thrive. This is essentially what diversification is in the world of investments. It's a strategy that involves investing in a variety of assets to reduce the impact of one poor performing investment on the overall portfolio. You see, not all investments perform well at the same time. Some might be up while others are down. By spreading your investments across a range of different assets, you can smooth out the volatility or fluctuations in your portfolio's performance. Think of it as not putting all your eggs in one basket. If you drop that one basket, all your eggs break. But if you spread your eggs across multiple baskets, even if you drop one, you still have others intact. Now it's important to understand that diversification is not about maximizing returns. Sure, it can lead to higher returns if all your investments do well, but that's not the primary goal. The main objective of diversification is to minimize risk. You might be wondering how does diversification minimize risk? Well, it's simple. If one investment in your portfolio performs poorly, it won't have a significant impact on your overall portfolio because it's just one piece of the puzzle. The other investments can compensate for the poor performing one. In other words, diversification helps to reduce the potential damage that could be caused by a single investment. It's a safety net. A buffer against the unpredictable nature of the markets. So while diversification can't guarantee that you'll never experience loss, it can certainly help to soften the blow if things don't go as planned. It's about being prudent and strategic in managing your investments, and ultimately, your wealth. Remember, diversification is not about maximizing returns, it's about minimizing risk. Another crucial principle of the modern portfolio theory is the correlation of assets. But what does it mean? 
Well, let's break it down. Imagine you're a tightrope walker. You're balancing on a thin wire high above the ground. Your safety net, it's your correlation of assets. It's the relationship between the performances of the different investments in your portfolio. It's about how they behave together when faced with the same market conditions. Think of it like this. If all your investments tend to move in the same direction at the same time, they are said to have a high positive correlation. This can be great when the market is booming and all your investments are soaring. But what happens when the market takes a dip? Well, all your investments could plummet together. And that's not ideal. On the other hand, if some of your investments tend to rise when others fall, they have a negative correlation. This is where the magic happens. This negative correlation can provide a safety net in times of market downturns. If one asset is performing poorly, another might be performing well, balancing out the losses. But here's the catch. Finding assets with a perfect negative correlation is like finding a needle in a haystack. It's rare. But even a slight negative correlation or no correlation at all can make a big difference in reducing your risk. In essence, the correlation of assets is all about balance. About not putting all your eggs in one basket, but spreading them out. It's about creating a diversified portfolio that can withstand the ups and downs of the market. And remember, correlation is not a fixed attribute. It can change over time due to various factors such as economic conditions, market sentiment, and global events. So keep a keen eye on your portfolio and adjust as needed. In short, the correlation of assets is a critical aspect of the modern portfolio theory. It's about finding the right mix of assets that behave differently under the same market conditions. Strategically combining assets with different correlations can significantly reduce a portfolio's risk. Now let's talk about the efficient frontier, a concept that lies at the heart of the modern portfolio theory. So what exactly is the efficient frontier? Picture a graph with risk on the horizontal axis and expected return on the vertical axis. The efficient frontier is a curved line on this graph that represents the set of optimal portfolios. These portfolios offer the highest expected return for a defined level of risk. Let's break that down a bit. By optimal portfolios, we mean combinations of investments that maximize potential returns at each level of risk. These portfolios are efficient because they give you the most bang for your buck, the highest return possible without taking on more risk than you're comfortable with. You might wonder, why is it a curved line and not straight? Good question. This curve is due to the nature of risk and return. As you increase your risk, your potential return also increases, but not at a constant rate. Initially, for a small increase in risk, you get a significant increase in potential return. But as you continue to take on more risk, the additional potential return you get starts to diminish. Hence, the curve. Now, every investor has their own level of risk tolerance. Some are risk averse while others are risk seeking. The efficient frontier helps each investor identify the portfolio that best suits their individual risk appetite and expected return. To put it simply, if you're on or above this curve, you're doing well. Your portfolio is efficient. If you're below the curve, there's room for improvement. You could be earning more for the level of risk you're taking. The concept of the efficient frontier is not just a theoretical construct. It's a practical tool that investors can use to guide their investment decisions. By understanding where their portfolio sits in relation to the efficient frontier, investors can make informed decisions about how to adjust their portfolio to better align with their risk tolerance and return objectives. The efficient frontier serves as a guide for investors to identify the optimal balance of risk and return. So, what's the big takeaway from the modern portfolio theory? Well, we've journeyed through the various aspects of this groundbreaking concept, and it all boils down to a few crucial points. Firstly, the modern portfolio theory emphasizes the importance of diversification. By spreading investments across a variety of assets, you can potentially reduce risk without compromising returns. Secondly, the correlation of assets is a vital component to consider. Assets that move in opposite directions can balance each other out, providing a safety net in volatile market conditions. Lastly, we discussed the efficient frontier, which represents the set of optimal portfolios that offer the highest expected return for a defined level of risk. Understanding and applying these elements of the modern portfolio theory can help you make more informed decisions, potentially maximizing your investment returns while keeping risk at bay. Next time you're making investment decisions, remember the principles of the modern portfolio theory. Happy investing! If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and comment.
Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.